At first, campaigners are warning that an alarming number of cyclists and e-scooter riders are failing to stop at red lights. Figures recorded at some of London's busiest junctions show a quarter of cyclists doing it. Drivers were caught out too, with plenty distracting them while waiting for the lights to change. A warning, Yasmin Bodelby's report contains footage of people being hit by bikes. A cyclist who follows the rules films one who clearly doesn't think they apply to him. Red light, mate. Red light, you stop. A near miss, but the next is much harder to watch. A delivery driver jumps the light and ploughs straight into a child. I see the urge to go through red lights, but people also need to understand that it's, they're gambling with their lives, basically, and potentially other people's as well. Annette thought she and her dogs were safe on a zebra crossing. Everyone stopped. An electric bike didn't. Lying injured on the ground, trying to hold on to her dogs, passers-by came to help. The cyclist rode off and to this day still hasn't been caught. You're on the road, you need to know the rules of the road, the highway code, you need to understand how to read traffic in situations. A lot of these people don't. A study of 80 major London junctions backs this up. Of the two and a half thousand cyclists monitored, almost 700 didn't stop at a red light, which means more than a quarter ran red lights on London's busiest roads. One of the black spots is this junction at Elephant and Castle. It's not just cyclists, all sorts of vehicles are at it. Of the nine e-scooter riders caught on camera here, just one stopped at the traffic lights. The study recorded motorists distracted as well. You see it all the time. A lot of them don't even look. So it's, it's, a, it's as a pedestrian, it can be a little bit hazardous. You're trying to get to work and then there's bikes coming left, right in the center. So it's um, just generally dangerous. I've jumped red lights, I hold up my hands, but it's, um, it's London, it's a very, very, very fast city. But the organisation that did the study says there needs to be an attitude change. A red light means stop. To be honest, I do think there are some people using our roads that don't realise that. They don't, they don't think it applies to an e-scooter, they don't think it applies to a cyclist. Even charities that want more people to cycle in London say respect for the rules needs to go up too. When you're cycling you have a special responsibility to look out for people walking. So we really do want people to obey the rules of the road. But those swept up in accidents say that until everyone understands what they can and can't do on the roads, things like this will keep happening. Yasmin Bottleby, ITV News.